Welcome to Horror Square. Our channel is dedicated to sharing spine-chilling and terrifying stories. All the stories presented on Horror Square are works of fiction. They are created for entertainment purposes only and should not be interpreted as real-life events or experiences. Horror Square may explore psychological themes that can evoke fear, anxiety, or discomfort. If you are sensitive to such contents, we recommend avoiding our channel or proceeding with caution to fully enjoy our contents. We encourage suspending disbelief and embracing the atmosphere of horror. Remember that the events and characters depicted are purely fictional and not intended to represent reality. We hope you enjoy our contents responsibly and in the spirit of immersive storytelling. Hello, dear friends. Welcome to Horror Square. I hope you are fine. Today's story is, The Angel. In order to inform dear listener friends, if any one of you wants to share your story or any spiritual experience, then you can send it through mail. Our mail ID is horrorsquare 5 at the rate gmail.com. So, let's get started. In the quiet town of Willowbrook, nestled beneath a starry canvas that stretched infinitely, there was a legend that whispered through generations like a well-kept secret. It spoke of the super blue moon night, a rare celestial event when the moon bathed the world in an enchanting azure glow, casting a spell of wonder over the entire landscape. It was said that, on each of these nights, an angel would descend from the heavens, descending like a silvery wisp, against the backdrop of the iridescent moon, to fulfill a mysterious and noble purpose. This angel, known only as Onamika, was a figure, shrouded in celestial mystery. Her presence, invoked awe and reverence, as her mission transcended the boundaries between the earthly realm and the realms beyond. Onamika's unique aim was to forge connections with those humans who possessed hearts of gold and faces that could launch a thousand ships with a single glance. These remarkable individuals, often unsuspecting of their own greatness, were the chosen ones. Onamika, ethereal and radiant, would weave herself into the lives of these selected souls with grace and tenderness. She approached her task with otherworldly wisdom, guiding them towards their true destinies, with a gentle hand and a touch of celestial magic. In her presence, they discovered untapped depths of courage, creativity, and compassion, as if their spirits had been awakened by a divine melody only she could play. On one such super blue moon night, Onamika descended to Willowbrook, her celestial presence cloaked in an aura of enchantment. With wings of glistening azure that shimmered like the night sky itself and a halo that cast a gentle, iridescent glow around her, she appeared to the world as a vision of ethereal beauty. Her every movement was a graceful dance, and her eyes, pools of infinite wisdom, held secrets only the cosmos could fathom. Onamika's arrival did not go unnoticed. Her presence was magnetic, an irresistible force that drew the attention of all who beheld her. The townsfolk gazed upon her in awe, their hearts stirred by the otherworldly radiance she exuded. Yet, amidst the admirers, who watched in wonder, Onamika had eyes, only for one person, Ethan, a local artist, whose talent was as boundless as the night sky. Ethan's artistry was renowned throughout Willowbrook, for he possessed an unmatched ability to capture the moon's ethereal beauty on his canvas. Onamika had sensed the profound connection between her purpose and Ethan's artistic soul, and it was he whom she sought on this fateful night. Under the watchful gaze of the super blue moon, Onamika and Ethan's paths converged. Their meeting was serendipitous, their connection instantaneous, and their bond transcended the bounds of mortal comprehension. It was as if the very fabric of the universe conspired to unite them on this night of nights. Together, they embarked on a journey through the moonlit wonders of Willowbrook. The moonlight danced upon the tranquil waters of Willowbrook Lake as they walked along its shores, casting a spell of enchantment that mirrored the love growing between them. Conversations flowed like a river of dreams, and their laughter echoed through the night, 
carrying with it the promise of an extraordinary love story. As the weeks turned into months, Onamika and Ethan's love deepened with each passing super blue moon night. She shared with him the celestial mysteries of the cosmos, opening his eyes to the vastness of the universe. In return, Ethan showed her the beauty of humanity's creations, from his masterful artworks that mirrored the moon's splendor, to the intricate tapestry of human emotions. Yet, beneath the surface of their enchanting love story, Onamika carried a secret within her heart, a longing as profound as the night sky itself. An unyielding desire to bear a child and extend her celestial lineage. This desire, born of a love that defied the boundaries of worlds, would shape the destiny of not only Onamika and Ethan, but also the quiet town of Willowbrook itself. One fateful night, under the shimmering light of the super blue moon, as its radiance bathed the world in a surreal azure glow, Onamika found the courage to confide in Ethan. She feared that unveiling her true nature and the mission that bound her to the celestial realms might shatter the delicate bond they had forged. Yet her love for Ethan and the depth of their connection compelled her to share her celestial secret. In a secluded grove, beneath the moon's mesmerizing gaze, Onamika revealed the truth to Ethan. Her words carried the weight of cosmic knowledge, and her eyes shimmered with a mixture of vulnerability and hope. She explained the purpose that had drawn her to him, the duty she bore to bridge the gap between their worlds, and her desire to bear a child, who would continue her celestial lineage. To her astonishment and relief, Ethan, with unwavering love in his eyes, listened intently to her revelation. He didn't falter, nor did he question the extraordinary nature of her mission. Instead, he took her hands in his, his touch, warm and reassuring, and pledged his unwavering support. In that moment, their love transcended earthly bounds, becoming a beacon of hope that would guide them on their unprecedented journey. Together, they embarked on a path that blurred the lines between the mundane and the celestial, the earthly and the divine. With each passing super blue moon night, Onamika and Ethan's love grew stronger, fueled by their shared purpose and the boundless wonder of their adventures. Ethan's artistry, once celebrated locally, soon became renowned across the globe. His canvases captured not only the moon's ethereal beauty, but also the essence of their remarkable love story. People from distant lands were drawn to his work, recognizing the touch of the angelic presence that had graced his life and inspired his masterpieces. On one fateful super blue moon night, as the celestial energies aligned in a rare convergence, Onamika's deepest wish was granted. She stood beneath the azure radiance of the moon, her ethereal form glowing with anticipation and hope. It was a night that transcended ordinary miracles, for on this night, she bore a child, a daughter named Carly. The birth of Carly was a celestial event in itself, as the moonlight bathed the sacred moment in a celestial, shimmering aura. The child's eyes, as she opened them for the first time to the world, held the universe's mysteries within their depths. They sparkled with the wisdom of the cosmos, reflecting the very essence of her angelic lineage. Kali, born of love, that spanned the realms, was destined to be the bridge between Earth and the celestial realm. She would carry the legacy of Onamika forward, tasked with preserving the bonds forged between mortals and angels. Her life would be a testament to the enduring power of love and the transcendence of boundaries that separated worlds. With tears of joy and bittersweet farewells, Onamika prepared to return to her celestial world. She cradled her newborn daughter in her arms, her heart filled with both love and a profound sense of duty. The bond between mother and child, forged under the super blue moon's gentle light, would remain unbreakable, even as they existed in different realms. Onamika's departure left behind a world forever, touched by her love. 
Willowbrook continued to celebrate the super blue moon night with reverence and gratitude, knowing that, Onamika's aim had been to ensure the enduring beauty and wonder of her celestial kind would forever be a cherished part of the human experience. Generation after generation, age after age, the legend of Onamika would live on, a beacon of hope, love, and celestial magic that would continue to inspire the hearts and souls of all who gazed upon the enchanting azure glow of the super blue moon. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to let us know how you liked today's story in the comments, and if you enjoyed the story, give it a like and share it to let others know. Also, consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the bell icon next to it and enabling notifications, so you don't miss any updates. But for now, it's time to say goodbye, but I'll see you again in the next video, thank you take care, tata.